So there's over a hundred species and the species that we have at the Toronto Zoo here and that we're talking about, the ring-tailed lemur, are a little bit unique in that they are a more uh, terrestrial species than the rest of them. The rest of these species tend to be more arboreal, meaning they spend most of their time up in the trees, whereas the ring-tailed lemurs, they actually spend a lot of time on the ground. What they're doing, of course, is what occupies most species time is finding food. They're foraging in these different, uh, you know, rocky outcropping, spiny forests, rainforest, gallery forests. They're basically looking for food. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether it's uh, a dry season or a rainy season, of course. Generally, during the um, slightly warmer wet season, that's usually from about November to March in the year. And the cooler, slightly cooler, dry season is from April to October. These guys, of course, they're out in the rain or the dry. They only have these two seasons. So they're omnivores. Now, omnivores means that they are pretty much, if you would say, eaters of opportunities. Their diet is generally kind of uh, tied to which type of uh, of those uh, habitats that I mentioned that they're in. So you might get a few more things like fruit uh, and birds and what in the rainforest, whereas you're going to get maybe more of the things like small lizards and say leaves and stuff near the rocky outcroppings. One of their issues is water availability. So obviously not in the rainy season. They'll lick rain. Uh, they will even lick uh, morning dew from the leaves. But in the dry season, they are dependent upon a lot of the plants that they're eating in order to get enough water intake. So things like succulent type of plants. So the animals, the especially in this case, the lemurs that we're talking about, they're going to be spending more time looking for food during the dry season because, of course, the food is a bit scarcer. Thank you.